Hello, guys. All right. Hello. Let me get this one out of the way. That was from yesterday. From Miss Marquio. Hey, Sam in here. There's my daughter back there. Say hi, Sierra. <laughs> She's helping me take uh, apart the um, magno. I don't know, the circle bag I made for her grandma because it just wasn't turning out right. So I have her taking it apart so I can re-put it together. Okay, so I'm going to wait a few minutes. going to go ahead and post this on a couple of socials so that everybody knows I'm live. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Hi. Mm-hmm. We got lots of boxes back there from the uh, mail opening today. If you didn't catch that, you may want to. <laughs> I did it on my um, Facebook group. Hello, Miss Tanya. Hello, Melissa. Again, I'm posting this. I just want to make sure everybody can see. I'm going to put it on my Facebook page as well. How's your afternoon going? I hope well. Hello, on YouTube. Okay. The rolled pencil pouch is what we're doing today. So we're doing the rolled pencil pouch with um, no binding because out all the ones I was finding, they all wanted binding, which is fine, but I just was like, okay, some people just a little bit more intimidated by binding so I wanted to be a lot more user-friendly so I just self-drafted a pattern wrote up some cutting directions and put it on there <laughs> he's still asleep he's still asleep huh I mean you know. There we go. All right. I posted it. I put it on there. All right. Binding is that a great teacher? <laughs> I think you know. Yeah. I think I know her too. I think I know her too. I think I think it's me. Um, binding is not hard, but it can be intimidating, so I just like to make it a little easier for new projects. He's three ways, sleeps all night, I guess. He, he might have been, you know, towards the end of the summer, I think kids, just because it's like, um, you know, I think it's because they have, uh, what you call them, let me get the live chat up. Um, I think because they have longer days and stuff that it, they get a little tired towards the end of summer. They, they really tinker themselves out. <laughs> yeah, I, I use double side fold, the, the double folded bias tape as well. So, oh, was that thunder? Hi, how are you It could be somebody next door. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We got a good crowd started here. All right, I put 
all of the dimensions in the description box below. And um, I just kind of like self-drafted it. I literally like wrote out my directions, kind of had an idea of like mentally what I wanted to do with it. So um, yeah, a rolled pencil pouch. It could also be a crayon holder um, and even a marker holder because it's this, it, we're going to be using the fold over elastic so it's going to really stretch so it, it, it can lend itself very easily to a lot of things. So what you're going to need for your outside fabric is uh, 9 by 9 inches by 22 inches long. So I'm going to be using this. Um, this is actually going to be my inside fabric and then this is going to be my outside fabric. So it's going to be like ooh. When you unroll it, it's going to be like magic, right? Um, and then I have my my lining piece. So I wanted my, I'm sorry, my outside piece to be a little bit bigger. Like the lining piece to kind of like almost look like it's a faux accent on the outside. So I wanted to do something kind of fancy. So I did that. Um, so that's going to be 10 by 22. So it's just an inch um, wider and then for the ties I'm using bias I'm using double fold bias binding for mine just really easy pre-made stuff super easy I cut that to 38 inches long and then I have my fold over um, 3 quarters inch or 5 eighths inch fold over elastic at 52 inches and then I cut a small piece of interfacing just to give the, the cotton fabric a little bit of strength and that's seven and a half by 22. So like I said, I put all those descriptions in the description box below, all those instructions. Okay, so let's, let's get started. All right, so I am using my Galactic Roses waterproof canvas and um, I'm using Sofuse Plus. I had this in my scrap bin. That's going to be my interface. And you could use fusible fleece too if you wanted to. I just don't suggest double sided fusible fleece unless you are going to do binding. Um, and then a cotton for my um, for my exterior or lining piece, however you want it to do it. All right, so I'm going to take my um, interfacing and I'm going to put it down onto the wrong side which there really isn't a wrong side on solid colors but i'm going to put you guys down so you can see what i'm doing and that we've done our little intro for today <laughs> oh no there we go there we go perfect all right let me actually move this over I've got stuff like right on this desk right here and I just, that's just annoying. Oh, perfect. See you guys. Awesome. Okay. So this is my waterproof canvas. I've already done measurements on there. I'll tell you about those measurements here shortly. And then um, my interfacing. I'm going to go ahead and press this. So you are going to want to have some space, obviously. So just kind of center it as much as you could. This is a scrap piece. I could have made it a little wider uh, according to the measurements, but I was just like, this is, this is what I have. So this is also like a scrap buster, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and interface, fuse my interfacing right now. amazing it fuses on really fast 
and I love it. It's it's like right here, it's a little bubbly. I'm not sure if you can see that. You see the little wrinkle in the middle? I think it's more because it's a wrinkle than a bubble, but I'll try to get it out. That's because I didn't press from the center out. No, that's thunder. Or a motorcycle. <laughs> it could be a motorcycle. Okay. So there's my interfacing piece. So now I'm going to set this aside for right now. Just take this, set that aside. So you're going to grab your piece, your, your lining piece. So this is the piece that the actual elastic and the pencils are going to get rolled into. Um, and you're going to mark on the left hand side um, in case it's directional. This is going to be the top of the fabric. This is the bottom of the fabric towards you. So away from you is the top. The bottom is towards you. Uh, from the right, from the left hand side, you're going to mark in four inches. And then from the right hand side, you're going to mark in two inches. And then I want you to make a line two inches up all the way across to those marks. So four here, two here. Okay, four, two here, and then two inches down. Okay, once you've done those marks, now we can start putting on our elastic. So for the elastic, Okay, we it, it's gonna get put down, right? And it's not really gonna have a bump or anything to it because we don't want things falling out. We want it to be a little taut, so a little bit like stretched. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece and cut it in half. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, we just told us that measurement from the get-go. Well, yeah, I guess I could have, but I mean, why make things so easy? <laughs> All right. I'm just going to cut it in half and use one side at a time. Okay, so what I like to do when I first get started with my elastic, yeah, that's thunder. That's what I figured it was. I'm going to put this right on that first mark and I'm going to tack that down. So I'm just going to grab. I'm thirsty today, guys. Miss Tanya said it's thunder. Grab that like that. Put that one down and do the same thing here. The reason I'm doing this is so that when I fold it over, it just creates a nice little, um, what you call it? Hold on. I need another pin. I don't usually care. I usually don't have pins here. I usually have most of my clips. Ah, I'm <sighs> take my shoes off. I'm getting comfortable. All right. And pin that in place. Okay, so I'm going to take this over here. And I'm going to stitch that down. I'm just going to tack it down. So I do have different color in my bobbin versus my top thread. Just because I wanted something fun. Because this is really fun and, you know, why not? Okay, and I'm gonna lift. I'm gonna hop on over here and do this side. Okay. All right. So now that I've done that, hey, Jaded, how are you? Okay, there we go. And then now, now that we've done that, now I'm going to take it and go this direction. All right, so I, like I said, I've pre-made some of these marks already, but all I'm doing at this point, um, I'm gonna just do one st strip at a time. So I did that one right there, but I'm just gonna hold it down with some clips so it doesn't move on me too much. Um, 
I just find it's a little easier to work with one side at a time. All right, so turn this around. It's like this. <laughs> um, and then what I'm doing is I have made marks every half inch. Okay. So I'm just holding it down, pulling it just a tiny bit, not too much, just enough to stretch it just a little bit. And then stitching on my half inch mark. Okay, go again, stretch it just a little bit, stretch it on my half inch mark. Stretch it, half inch mark. If I were using a cotton thread, I could just use my um, thread cutter on my machine, but I'm not, so. Before you go too far, you're gonna wanna make sure that a, pen, a colored pencil or a regular pencil fits in there. So this is a pencil. And see, it fits in there really nicely. And it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> That's why you want it kind of tight. Um, and then just keep doing that all the way down. So I'm going to just keep doing that. And then you guys can just kind of like chat with me about what's going on in your world. I'm going to try the cutter and see if that helps. Anything fun going on? the bob in that last time so I had to be now I'm just pulling it just ever so slightly it's not a big pull it's just a little pull happens it just eventually just doesn't like the way it cuts and then my bobbin gets a little temperamental on me <laughs> do y'all's bobbins get temperamental with you this one oh yeah this is called my galactic roses it's waterproof canvas um, it's a thin waterproof canvas, um, nice little texture to it, soft hand to it, um, but it is waterproof, not water resistant, but waterproof, and it doesn't have any of the plastic stuff on it, so um, you don't have to worry about the, um, about ironing it. So Fuse Plus interfaces to it beautifully. I really enjoy this one. It is a vibrant fabric for sure. I think it's called Rainbow Galactic Roses. See that? Let me keep moving on. Okay, 
And remember, you're just stopping at that two inch mark. You're not going past that two inch mark. Yeah, it's shredding my... It, the, the other thing that the threader doesn't like is when it, this is a nylon fabric or polyester fabric, it just shreds it because it's, it doesn't like it. Yeah, that one didn't stick. So I'm gonna have to take the cutting off because it's just shredding the thread. And even the manufacturer says it's really not meant, to, you're not really supposed to use a thread cutter with it's anything over text 40, I think it says, or text 45. And this is a 60, it's text 70 if I'm not mistaken. So they say not to do it, but I try. <laughs> Once in a while, I'll try it. So I cooked last night and my children loved it. And it didn't take too long. It was, it's more of the prep work like the week before, like coming up to to it. That's what takes usually the longest is just the prep work. But I made my fried chicken and um, roasted uh, um, you know, stewed, I guess, beans. Hey, Kalora, you're not late. You're not late, sweetheart. I am um, just moving along really fast. <laughs> this is a very easy, fast, self-drafted pattern that I put together. So, yeah. All right, I'm getting close to that two-inch mark. That two-inch mark is right there. in a minute. All right, I've only got one more to do. Okay, so you're not going to want to you're not going to want to go past that two inch mark because um, once we put everything together, you want to have room for it to um, like kind of almost like tuck on itself when you do the roll. And you can make these even smaller. Um, I'll try to see if we can do like a little bit of a small one for like a 12 pack. So it's easy to just kind of give as a gift. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this. Okay. It's like, yeah, you could, you could probably use that, but that, that, that's stretching it a little too far. You just want a slight stretch. You don't want much stretch. All right, let's repeat the same process here. Now, the, the thing about here is you're wanting to make sure that this matches here so that the pencils go straight through. What you don't want happening is this is going like this because it's not straight. You know, you want it to go straight into the pencil area. So just keep that in mind. If you need to have a ruler on hand, you can. So like, for example, I can grab my ruler right here and just line that up to do the stitching right there just so I know okay that's where I'm stitching that next time you know or you can kind of eyeball it
So I made fried chicken, but it's like Puerto Rican fried chicken and um, beans and white rice. It's like a stewed bean. I don't know how to explain it. It's amazing though. And we went to the Spanish store today to pick up um, the shells for empanadas because we're making empanadas tonight. If we have enough time after I'm done with this, I'm gonna show you guys my son's book bag that I made. The one that I'm like, totally like, toot toot, toot my own horn about. Yeah. I had one of the moms was like, oh my God, I love it. How much for a book bag like that? And I was like, a hundred bucks. And she's like, oh, I get, I get it. It's worth it because it's definitely, looks really nice in the pictures but she's like I she wanted to see it in person so we brought it with us today so when she comes in she can see it all right let's see here You guys have anything planned this week sewing wise what's on your sewing tables I know Melissa you probably don't get much time <laughs> to sew but maybe maybe you can sneak something in there longest part is just going to be cleaning up my threads that's the part it's gonna take the longest of cleaning up threads snip your tails like Tori says snip your tails they have a great group of kids this week at camp I think we've got 13 it's amazing A lot of them, this is their last week of summer break. And then they go back to school next week. Like high school starts next week for some kids. Guys, right, so let's see here. That goes with that one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Okay, <laughs> that's what I thought. I wanted to make sure because, like, for some reason, I got lost in the, the. I got lost in the scuttle. Hi. Must be one of the dads or the grandpas. Okay. Ooh, yeah, it's raining. this afternoon now it's pouring rain it's gonna be like a sauna outside Alright, 
last one. Like I said, the hardest part about this is going to be snipping threads. Snipping those connecting threads. Ooh, it's pouring. piece right there and don't get rid of these because these will be great for like instead of like the tie you can kind of like so that it stretches over itself instead of tying it those are great options so so this is in the back I'm just snipping it in the middle I'm not worried about cleaning it up so much as I am just making sure that it's not resisting Okay. worried about it too much but I keep clipping it is the long ones are the ones that drive me a little bit cuckoos okay all right <laughs> all right so now we've got it just like that okay hello grandma all right now we're going to put it pretty sides touching Okay, and so this is where it gets a little bit kind of like you see how it's much bigger than itself and so on. So we're going to leave an opening on this end over here, but I'm going to take this one, match it up to this side, okay, sew it down, and then I'm going to move it to this side. So you can't really pre-pin both sides or clip both sides at the same time. Um, just because, um, like I said, I wanted to make it look like it had like a faux like accent thing around it. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to get really fun in here in about two minutes. We don't usually lose power for very long. Uh oh, I know, right? Did you see that? Yeah. Um, usually we don't lose power for too long because we're, we're on the same grid as the sheriff's department. So. Okay. My computer sure did turn off. I'm not doing this end yet either. I'm gonna push this side over because if I did this one here, I wouldn't be able to fully um, be able to do this side over here. Okay, and I'm just using a half inch seam allowance. Just lining it up, holding it. too far from the from the sheriff's station so we don't usually lose power very often 
I mean, for very long, if we lose it. All right, I'm just trimming this down. Okay, now we're gonna turn it inside out. I like so. And so, I hope you guys can see where I was talking about, like it kind of makes it look like it has like a faux accent type of thing. So all I'm gonna do now is just take my time and really just roll this so that it's nice and flat. But because that back piece, and it, this, you can do that literally with either sides. If you wanted the color to be on the outside, then you would use that as the, um, the, the, as the um, outside fabric, obviously. And then the lining is where we're actually putting all of our measurements on and marking things. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm not gonna iron on this side because this has the fold over elastic that obviously can melt, so I'm gonna turn it in this direction and press it and give it a really good press. That didn't go flat, now did it? It's like, why is that doing that like that? Who? Oh. And this is if you had double-sided fusible fleece, you can kind of like insert it in there and then press it and everything will stay nice and fused together. But I didn't want mine being too buffed. In there it's gonna get pretty bulky all right so now what I'm gonna do is on this side here I'm gonna fold that in finger press that so we've got to kind of make it straight so I'm gonna white chalk pencil. It's fine. Okay. That's where I'm going to fold it at and I'm going to tuck it into itself. And that's where I'm going to put the, um, no, this is the inside. So this is the side that's going to have the, the tie. So I'm just over at my ironing right now. that in, pressing it really well. like that and I'm gonna just put some clips there just to keep everything where it needs to be and I don't have anything shifting on me and we're gonna repeat the same process on this side over here like it's just doing this because of the elastic being stretched a little bit but we don't want our pieces falling so it's falling it's falling okay so again Make a mark where I want to fold to. Okay, I'm going to make a center mark right there because that's where I'm going to put my um, I can talk today. That's where I'm going to put the um, 
the, the, the uh, bias binding that I did so that I could use it as a tie to tie it off. Do you have a tutorial for the flower pillow? Yes, I do. It's on my YouTube channel. If you just look up um, flower pillow, it should be up there. I did it in my house on a domestic. <laughs> on a domestic sewing machine. It was like the weekend before I went to Sew Magical Expo and when I did the class for the flower pillow. Uh, and so I put it out there so people would kind of get an idea of what they were doing ahead of time or if they wanted to get extra kits or anybody who wanted a kit, they could purchase a kit. Because I sell them, I sell all the time. Like, this is not something I just did for so magical. Um, the flower kit is actually very popular in my Etsy shop. You know, with your kids or grandparents like to have it, like grandmas like to have it to do as projects with their grandchildren. You're welcome. All right, so I'm just gonna clip this here and I'm going to put my tie on there in just a second. But what I'm gonna do, because it is open on one side, see it's open on one side, I'm just gonna stitch it down. Stitch it closed. That's all I'm gonna do. Stitch it closed. towards the center because it's really hard to stay on the side of this <laughs> like literally like just half inch and all I'm doing is just so that it stays together hi Christine how are you this in half okay and then I'm going to insert it like this so that it has it that it goes in two different directions kind of like at the end of a bow onto here Sarah can you go grab me one of those bags of color pencils from this kid so that I can um, show how it looks after we've actually put pencils in it. All right. Now I'm going to top stitch all the way around. It is raining for real. Miss Tanya, is it raining this bad where you are? It is real. Duncan. That Duncan bag is, is it's it's beautiful. But you know, that's the same thing like with the um the Guardian. I haven't I haven't even had the guts to do the Guardian yet. Um I'm waiting for 
either Shinova or Laura not to be so crazy busy and have them like do a dual live with me and us do a guardian. real out there. <laughs> yeah, cutting is uh cutting is interesting, right? So I've actually talked to um Miss Murky and we're gonna actually offer um that if you buy the like the vinyl like the box from us like in any of the inspirational box boxes for us if you have the pattern and you own the pattern and, and obviously we have the pattern um we'll cut it for you for a fee i think it's maybe between 10 to 15 dollars we'll cut whatever bag you want us to cut it out of this makes it easier all right let's get some colored pencils This bad boy. There we go. So it's just long enough for colored pencils. And then also, if you wanted to put in crayons, you could because that way you just put the crayons on each end. So I made it so that it would you could fit either crayons, like a whole lot of crayons, or just colored pencils. I'm trying to get it to. Some of these colored pencils have been used like a lot, so they're a little shorter than like what you would get out of the store. What? Your pegboard started coming off of the wall? Cut, Sandra. <laughs> Cute. Oh, cute. Oh, okay. I thought you said cut. I was like, what are we cutting? And this is another reason I use this colored, like the waterproof canvas on this side, because if you had a solid on the inside, every time you're putting your pencils in and out, you're going to get marks on it which is not a bad thing by any means because it's obviously to use to work with but if you um didn't quite like that and you were a little ocd that would probably drive you crazy okay I need to check my email and see if um, Sally Tomato has um, given me permission to make their three ring binder live tomorrow. Like that's the one I want to do tomorrow. If not, then you know I could make a very simple self-drafted pattern. Um, but yeah, the peg things came falling down. It's double, so it's, it's bigger than the ones I have behind me. Wow. That's crazy. I, um, I put those up like, ooh, I don't know. How long ago did we put those pegboards up, Sierra, behind me? Like a year ago? Yeah. Yeah, it was like a year ago when we were really, like, really wanting to start doing, um, YouTube videos and lives and stuff like that. And I was in the center of the room. <laughs> but then Miss Marquia came in and she's, you know, just up in the office and on the computer and stuff. So I was like, oh, let me scooch my cutting table and my stuff over so that way I'm not taking up the entire office. I think I did one too many right here. I did. Oopsies. 
Yeah, I did. I did one too many right here. That's all right. I can seam rip that. And one more. Just like that. A flower pillow for nap time. Yeah. Just go like this and just roll it. Just like that. It's that that's easy, right? That's super easy. If you didn't want to have it that it had double um, elastic, you just want to just elastic down the center, you can totally do that. Totally, totally, totally do that. Um, this is super cute. It came together really fast. Um, what, 50 minutes all together? No, the, the yellow is just a... Uh, uh, like a broadcloth um, cotton cotton polyester mixed broadcloth kind of thing. It's cute, right? I mean, there. That's really awesome. Let me see if I can show you guys my son's book bag while we have it. While we have it. You guys want to see the book bag? I give it to you. Boom. This is his book bag. He's got the zipper pulls from New Moxie, custom print fabric, and the rest of it's just waterproof canvas. Um, but it's really cool. It's got nice adjustable straps. Everything is padded, so this is all padded. This is padded. Um, this back here is all padded. Um, in here, it's got a slip pocket, another slip pocket, a little two pockets here to put pens and stuff like that. And, you, and, and it's so deep, it's just, it's huge. It's really big in there. So it holds lots of stuff in the front compartment. And then in the back, or the uh, main opening, it's, it's huge. Lots and lots of stuff. I, uh, this is um, something I'm working on. Um, I, I had, this is like one of those patterns that you get that have like, different languages on it and it's not really a pattern it's more like dimensions and stuff like that so I'm working on doing something similar to this but different because I don't like the way it goes all the way down right here I need to have it come up a little bit higher so this is the next um, pattern that I'm looking at making as well Let's see that and this is coming up um, and then I like the way that this grab handle is here so it's not into the seam right here where you can just rip out. It's nice and padded and it gives it a good off. That's his, that's his book bag. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yep, so that's what I'm working on. Um, you know, I sourced it from like two different patterns like put together that were just dimensions and things like that. Um, I never follow a pattern all the way. So this is like two different ones and it was, one of them was in Spanish, I think. <laughs> but I didn't actually like reread it in Spanish. I just used dimensions and then kind of worked it from there. Um, let's see here. My husband says he's going back to Charlotte tonight. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, that's it. Um, we made this rolled pencil pouch. Um, I didn't even count how many pencils we put in here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
There's 27, so you can easily do it just as a 24 pack or something like that if you wanted to. We have so many color pencils here at the studio. Um, kids love, 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 love. But this is why um, you don't want to do it all the way to the end because you want to be able to roll it. You want to be able to roll it. Um, and if it was right there towards the end, it wouldn't it wouldn't work. And then same thing with this here. You really want this to be able to flap over. Um, and that wouldn't happen if you didn't have that four inches. Hey, Linus. I see you, little popcorn buddy. <laughs> All right, there we go. Making the rolled pencil pouch. You can also use it for crayons. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give on my um, YouTube. I put it in a post as on my YouTube page, so that way you guys can have it. And it also has um, all of the marks and stuff like that. It has all that on there, too. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.